Hello again. You may notice that I do not, in fact, have my camera up. And that is because that, yes, it was laggy. If you watch the first one, it is definitely very laggy. And I honestly just didn't want to deal with it. So, now I don't have to prepare and try to fix my hair and put on my hat and try to mess with the camera. So now it's just going to be gameplay. I kind of like the idea anyway of, of you know, uh, you seeing me in the first one and then everything else is just pure gameplay. So here we are at Peacekeepers, I believe. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it! Now that was obviously the, well not, maybe not obviously, the leader of uh, Peacekeepers. And if you're wondering what Peacekeepers is, the area itself and the, um, the music pretty well give it away. Let's see. Who can I blast with this? So these dragons are... Pretty much the military, I guess you could call it. Of, uh, of the dragon kind. They are specifically... Um... They want to say tasked, I guess? With... Peacekeeping, basically. They're the warlike ones and all of that. I have not been checking the... Okay, so... Right. Scare Norks into tents. Ooga booga! Oh, you're just gonna... You're not very scared, are you? Huh. They're not going into their tent. Okay, there are some norks into the tents. And as you can see, he is scared. But when I turn my back, he moons me. How dare! A little laggy. A little laggy on the, uh... There we go. Well, not laggy. The collision is a little bit strange. Damn you... Be frightened into your hut. So as you can see, the Norks have decided to set up a base here at Peacekeepers, which would be the place to do it. There's a few more of them in their tents. Was that enough? I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see any, uh... Any notification? Oh, okay, that's that's fine. It's a little bit of a collision issue in here, if this I remember correctly. Yep. There's a invisible wall in this area. Not sure why it's it's there. Hello, balloonist. The Magic Crafters world is far away and very dangerous. Maybe if you find 1,200 stolen treasure, I'll show it to you. So yes, these guys' priority is a little different than uh, than the artisans. The artisans' world, they were just like, free the dragons. And here, they're like, we want our damn money. Give us our money back. I mean, you know, I, I guess military... Uh, military uh, rations and so on and so forth take um, take quite a bit of, of resources and such to pay for. Well, military resources, sorry, take money to pay for. I don't know a huge amount about military stuff. I've never been in the military. Uh, my grandfather was, and he 
never really shut up about it, but I didn't pay any attention to him at all because I have no interest in the idea. If you if you like it and you like, you know, if you're in the military, then that's fine. <laughs> Mag Magnus. Ma Magius. Sorry. Hey, Spyro. Didn't read it. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. So yeah, they like to uh, remind you of things a couple times. So I probably don't need to, or probably won't be able to, um, whoop, there we go, there's that thing I was talking about, to uh, tell you what the professions are of each of these specifically, or what type, or I guess the best I could do is say what type of warrior they are, because they're specifically all in the military, they don't really have... Damn it, they're always the red ones. Oh, collision. They don't really have uh, specific professions apart from, you know, being peacekeepers. Oh, almost didn't get that. Oh, <laughs> way too many close calls for my liking. And as you can see, there's a thief. When I was a kid, I used to just call these na 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 na, -na guys. And, which is obviously a lot longer to say than thief, but I don't know. Oh, by the way, this game, uh, well not this one specifically, but the original Spyro the Dragon was actually the very first game I've ever played. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Nice teeth, dude. Oof. I keep forgetting to say their name out. I don't even know if I said that guy's name out. I probably didn't. I don't know. Paying a... Oh. No. No. Ah. Paying a lot of attention is not my forte. Um, a lot of this game for me is just... Sparks? There we go. A lot of this game for me is... Uh, muscle memory, I guess? And I do a lot of it, I guess, subconsciously. More than anything else, no! Why... Why makes it to where I fall, not hover. Need to remember that. Oh hey, it's it does the thing where uh, where it gives you an extra life. That's nice. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, but yeah, um, a lot of this game, like I said, is uh, subconscious or muscle memory on doing it. Uh, the first one, like I said, I, uh, I was four years old. I think, I think I played it right when it came out, actually. Uh, my first game ever, I was four years old, played this game. I n never made it far past, um, this place, actually. This area scared me, I remember. Now, a little thing I like to do, uh, since unlike the other games, you aren't limited uh, to having the boss be at the end. You can fight the boss basically anytime. So, Dr. Shimp. In the first one, I do kind of like to face the boss first. Now the skill point here is to do it perfectly. Basically, beat Dr. Shimp without taking any damage at all. I do not remember his patterns. What a lovely uh, eclipse. Ah, 
Yeah! Well, I've already taken damage, but I don't think it counts if it's not Dr. Shim. I thought for some reason that he would not turn to hit me. But yeah, if you wait, they will just straight run off a cliff. Or, of course, you can always charge them, like I did. So you'll notice in, um, in Peacekeepers that... Basically, the... Whoa! Um... The majority of this place... Is, uh... Is deserty. Well, maybe not deserty, but like... I think it's called Plateau, actually. Either way, it is rocky and sandy. Oh, I almost forgot. I probably should have glided over there first. Now, of course, in these areas, um, I was about to say, as you saw in the other one, please make it, uh, anyway, but you didn't see that because I didn't actually die. Um, if you lose, then you have to restart all over. Dr. Shemp thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing, he should watch his back. So that was your hint. To hit him in the back. Alright, so that was... Okay. That was the time he does... At one of these he spins, I don't know which one. Come on. Whoop, I fell. Okay, so I just need to hit him. There we go. Now hopefully I just need to hit him again without being hit myself. Just watch him. Okay. Damn it. There we go. Skill point acquired. Don't know why I said it like that. Acquired. Also, I apologize if I'm screaming into the mic. I don't feel like I'm screaming into the mic. Ah, yes, I have the key. But as I have headphones on, I cannot rightly hear myself very well. Also, I love this. I love the little f flittery thing he does. Should be all? Yes, it is all of that. Why am I doing that? I can't get back from there. <clears throat> I can't rightly say what they would use this area for. Um, rituals? I am guessing? And by ritual I mean like, I don't know. Considering it's peacekeepers, all I can think of is just like having fights here. Probably sumo wrestling matches. Something like that. Or just regular res wrestling matches. Doesn't have to be sumo wrestling. Ah yes, very good. <clears throat> um, should probably do the flight level next. At least I think that's the flight level over there. Yep. Ah yes, the respawning enemies. Night flight. I remember struggling with this. 
I do struggle a bit with all of the, uh, of the flying levels in the first one in particular. And by struggle, I don't mean I think it's difficult, really. It's just usually takes me just a few tries. I don't hate them. Some people really hate the flying levels. Uh, for example, one of my best friends, he just cannot get through them. And uh, he asked me to uh, to do, the for, do it for him. And, you know, I told him, um, you know... You're on PS4 and also in Britain, so I can't really help you with that. Um, even if I signed into your account on the PS4, I would have to... Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't have to do anything. I don't have your save data. It doesn't do that. It's not like Steam. Uh, speaking of which, I am in fact playing uh, the Steam version! of this game. Eh, yeah, fly! Um, I am using a, uh, oh, I don't have enough time! I don't have enough time, I have a second, oh, if, oh, point four seconds, ugh. I'm not doing it again, thank you. First time, yes, thank you. I forgot what I was saying entirely. Oh, the respawning enemies. You're gonna hear me talk about that a lot, probably. I don't think that. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay. It's fine. Don't know what I was thinking there, I just decided to smack into a wall. And I'm way over here now, good. Um... Nope, cannot remember for the life of me what I was saying. Ah, damn you, be scared! Be frightened! I don't think I got enough of them to run in. Is that enough for you, game? There we go. I don't really need to be killing these guys, actually. Okay, so, um... Try to remember. Okay, it only tells, tells me what I have already been to. Good. So I know of two more places here. There's this one. Uh, ice caverns. I'm gonna do that after, actually. Oh, there's a couple more, actually. This one in the very middle that I forget, and one over that away. What is this one? Cliff Town. Yeah, we'll do Cliff Town. If this is the right one that I'm thinking of, I believe uh, this particular level is based off of a place in Star Wars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it should be Tatooine. I don't know a lot about Star Wars. I Oh, I'm going to blast off into the sky now. Um, I have seen all of the movies, but all when I was younger, and I've forgotten the majority of it. The reason I know anything about the movies is because of friends talking about it, and that is it. I don't personally have a lot of interest in, um, in sci-fi, which I guess Star Wars would count as sci-fi. Oh yes, you flame these and, uh, and a gem comes out. I mean, certain sci-fi I do like. For example, I did enjoy Mass Effect. All of them. I haven't personally played, um, uh, Andromeda, but my, uh, my boyfriend has. Let's see if I can get these guys to do it. There we are. 
interesting thing about the fodder in this game, they will, uh, they will usually react to you like this. One time I got all of them to do it. Come on. There we go. They're adorable and I love them. I'm going to try not to get hit so I do not have to, uh, so I do not have to use the fodder here in particular because I just find them so darn cute. I hear you, nan 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 guy. You know, that's a lot harder to say than thief. I don't know why I called these things that when I was a kid. Okay, you're fast. Am I just bad at turning? I feel I am bad at turning. I wonder if I run to the other direction if it'll be easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people didn't like their, um... Ah, yes, that was easier. A lot of people didn't like their... voice being changed. I mean, it actually... uh, used to be... I hit him twice! It, has to, it actually used to be more different than it is now. Like, before it used to... Damn it, those red ones. Um... The original, it used to be a lot higher and didn't quite sound that much like a voice. If anything, it sounded kind of staticky to me. Um, then they changed it here, and before, it, they, it, it was actually deeper. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. I like that one. I like the design of that one. Not sure why he had like a little shark fin at the end of his tail. Yay, extra life. I already came over here. But yes, this place is obviously... Um, <clears throat> well, not obviously, especially if you're me and haven't actually seen the Star Wars thing or remember it. Anyways, um based on on Tatooine. Now what I feel like this place is uh is used for I can only imagine just housing generally. Just that that's it. <laughs> really. Housing. Um The homes of the peacekeepers, I would imagine. Oh, that requires a key. There's not much more to say about it. I, th I don't remember what those are called. I used to call them mamas for some reason. They might be called that, I don't know. So, uh... Um, I'll say that after I, uh, after I free this guy. Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? So desert type places, um, biomes. I'm not gonna make this, am I? Nope. Well... Okay. Alright, I should make this, hopefully. There we go. Anyway, desert type biomes. You can claim these, by the way. They shrivel. Um, deserts are not. Are, well, actually, are my least, if not. Well, one of my least, if not my least favorite biome in general. But especially to play in video games, for the most part. Um, really didn't like it in uh, in Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age, by the way, Dragon Age Origins specifically is one of my favorite games of all time, if not my absolute favorite. I. Could play that, 
Honestly, I don't actually know if I'm going to be doing any other playthroughs at all, apart from this one. This one is the only one that I really felt the urge to play. But I do have Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, as well as all the DLC for it and everything. And a few mods. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. Why did he have metal wings? Maybe he lost them in a battle. That'd be interesting. So yeah, there's this tall whirlwind now over here. Damn it, I just forgot a place to glide to, and there's there's also green gems over there anyway, so. So he said this is the tallest, but I think that over there is actually the tallest. I should not have- ah! I forgot about that. I should not have missed those green gems, considering they were not in green grass. Yes, this place, by the way, very easy to miss. Very, very easy to miss. Like I said, uh, Spyro 1 has a lot of, um, of areas that are out of sight. Ah! Damn it. I have fallen off of, off of the ledge. You may notice I may have a little bit of a difference in the way I speak now, um, as opposed to the first time, well, the first episode, first video, because, um, I just don't feel as nervous without the camera. Oh yeah, I don't need a key for that. Damn it, I keep forgetting about... I am going to struggle with without the, uh... Um... Without hover. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, I'm not as, um... You know, I feel more comfortable, obviously, without the... The camera on my face. And now I can just kind of, you know, just have fun with the game without fussing about... Oh, okay. Stuck a little bit there. Without fussing too much about... Um... The way I look and things like that. Will you go away? Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay. Next we have... It is not over here. Hold on. <laughs> Next we have Dry Canyon. Oh, nice lovely pink sky. Ah, yes. Um what I'm when I mentioned uh in the first episode about the uh the sky, the sky box. Uh it used to be seemingly just blue um for every place. Uh, for some of the screenshots and I don't know if that was just a placeholder or not but they did eventually change it um, after a lot of people were that's not where I wanted you to go after a lot of people were upset about oh, okay after a lot of people were pretty upset about the um, about it being blue because Spyros just sniff at me, yes, sniff. Um, cause Spyros more kind of known for it, the sky boxes being kind of magical. I don't know why these guys' guns have. Um, barrels that are like I can't remember what that thing is called but gramophone? sousaphone? 
I was an old record player, basically. I'm coming for you. Hopefully I won't hit lots of stuff on my way. Does he speed up in some specific spots or... Oh, well, I'm not going to catch him like that. Feels like he speeds up in certain corners. So yeah, the eggs are kind of like an afterthought in this game. Whereas they're the whole basic plotline in the third game. Which I have my opinions on that, don't you worry. For releasing me, Spyro. I love the amount of personality they added to to these dragons. Even the ones that just say thank you for releasing me, they gave them a lot more just more in general, really. Uh before gliding there I should probably just I do miss when that guy you may have noticed, I don't think you did, I did that part pretty quickly, but um, <clears throat> you may have noticed he was waving around a, uh, a buzzard. And I do miss before when the buzzard would just go, ah, 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 as he wa waved it around, and it was really amusing for me um, as a kid. I found that absolutely hilarious. At least I probably did. I can't remember being a kid very well. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> I like how he has a um, a rattlesnake tail. Does this go to a specific? Okay, I guess there. I noticed they took inspiration from a lot of different uh, reptiles for these uh, for these dragons, and it's really cool. Like the designs are just so varying. Not so much in. I mean, hey, that was where I was going. <clears throat> Oop. In uh. In Peacekeepers, they're a little bit samey, I guess. Not in a really bad way or anything like that. They're just, um, they do have somewhat similar colors and designs. Obviously, you can tell the, I say obviously a lot, I need to stop doing that. You can tell the differences in them, but they, they have a, a bit of a similar thing to them, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's makes sense actually because you know, for military stuff, they tend to have like a a uniformity to them. Ah, there was a there was an invisible wall there that I did not see because, as per the name, it was invisible. Could not glide from there. Um, I would not be able to pinpoint what this place would be used for, honestly. Eh. Eh. Oh, come on, I made that. It's... I guess more homes, if I were to guess. Maybe it's their base? Like, their big base? Like a permanent base, not like a temporary base. And yes, even though they look like I'm at uh, grandma phones, these um, these guys are in fact wielding um, guns, which is a bit of a controversial thing at the very end of this game that uh, involves guns. Is that you, Spyro? 
you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known, uh... You've known... Ah, uh, I forget. There's their continuous gag of, of uh, old dragons. How did you detect me from across the wall? I actually have a uh, theory about this game in particular. <clears throat> well, not so much a theory, maybe more of a headcanon for me, anyways. And I haven't really heard anybody else say it uh, about this game. If if they have, then let me know, but... Considering what some of the dragons say to Spyro, which I find a little off, well, odd, and, and doesn't make a ton of sense unless I put this little headcanon of mine um, into it. And basically, it is that this entire adventure that Spyro was going on right now, the whole thing was set up for him by the dragons. Nasty Nork and everything. They didn't um, <clears throat> take care of Nasty Nork as a threat and knew he was going to, going to do this. I mean, it's not like... I don't think they hired him for it or anything. Where did I miss the key? But the reason I think this is because that some of the dragons um, say some kind of peculiar things to Spyro about um, about his journey. Like we knew you you would be the one to do it, and there and as you notice, where was that? Oh, I see a dragon over there. Ah, it's one of those instances where I have to glide from somewhere I can't see. <clears throat> but from where? I forget. Up there. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I think I got it. Anyway, um... So yeah, they, they tell Spyro, uh, within several instances... I can hear my phone ringing over there. My phone should not be ringing. I never answer my phone. The only people who have my number are doctors. So I'm just going to let that ring. I don't like answering phones. I'm one of those really anxious people who are just like, uh, human interactions, no. Whoop. I was gonna get that key, but I guess we're gonna get Maximus. Phone! Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Mm. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Okay, I'm going to at least look at the phone real quick and get it to shut up. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> that actually turned out to be my uh, my boyfriend calling from work his, uh, because his um, his shoes decided to fall apart on him for some reason. So I had to walk down there and give him his other pair of shoes. So yeah, turns out that call was actually important for the first time ever. And for the first time I, m I was actually recording. Go figure. Well technically not the first time I've ever recorded any gameplay, there's just... <clears throat> I've actually recorded part of one before, but I didn't ever <coughs> upload it because, I don't know, I just lost the drive for it, really. To be honest, I, um, I actually bought 
a whole setup specifically for uh, gaming and and recording, but after buying everything I needed for it, I actually just completely lost the drive to do it for some reason. There we go. I mean, yeah, um, <clears throat> I've wanted to make gameplay videos for quite a while. I mean, ever since watching several other YouTubers do it, I mean, I know it's not profitable now <clears throat> so much as it was before. However, I'm not looking into this for profit, to be honest. I just kind of want to do it because I thought I'd find it fun, really. And it is fun so far. Like that was the whole point. I didn't, I didn't want to do it for money. I wanted to, I wanted to do it just cause, well just cause really. <laughs> Where was I going? Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not looking to make to make money with with YouTube or anything like that. However, that's considering YouTube's I'm told about new policy that will be taking effect. I these videos may not be on YouTube for very long actually because <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, hopefully not losing my voice. You're probably going to hear my voice getting more and more hoarse throughout this because I'm not used to talking very much. Anyway, YouTube. Um, I might end up actually traversing this entire thing backwards because of this. But yeah, I'm told YouTube, after your, uh, your account has been on here for a year and it's not... I think you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers uh, after a year in order... Like, otherwise they'll basically delete your channel. That's what I've heard anyway. <clears throat> From numerous sources, however. One day I will learn how to pronounce things. Anyway. Uh, hold on. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? <laughs> I love that facial expression. So yeah, um, YouTube basically wants, well I've heard, they basically just want um, <clears throat> everything to be commercially viable, I suppose. I think that's the exact words given. They want to make... I mean, I guess that's fair because you're taking up space, I guess, on their platform and they want to be able to make money off of it. Otherwise, you're just kind of using up a bunch of their space. Ow. So, I mean, yeah, it's their platform, which I guess is fair enough. However, there are issues with it, and, um... Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. <clears throat> if YouTube continues with what it's... With the way it's going, it's probably not going to... Um, it's, it may end up being replaced by another platform that everybody will flock through. I, I know a lot of people are going to Twitch, and like I said, um, <clears throat> all of my roleplay groups, uh, videos are on Twitch currently, and that, but that's just because, um, one sec.
You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. I'm ready for what? See, now that is the exact thing I was talking about before. <clears throat> How they're saying that he was ready and such. This, which is what makes me think that this entire thing was basically um, constructed specifically for him. Basically to train him and to um, make him feel like a hero since he's the only baby dragon. That's my headcanon anyway. But yeah, back on the topic. <clears throat> I do believe that eventually people will flock to a, a different platform other than other than YouTube. And yes, uh, um, like I said, my group's stuff is on is on Twitch, but that is only that's more for us than anybody else. We just well, I just made that um, for any time somebody misses a uh, a game so they can see it or to go back on it for memories that sort of thing or if their friends want to see see what we're doing thank you for releasing me that's actually how we got uh, our latest um, member Candace she was watching our, our streams actually um, granted she does live with uh, with Freya but but she she got to know us basically by watching the streams. Ow. So yeah, just to let people know, my uh, my videos may not be on YouTube for too terribly long because I know I'm not going to be getting a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Even if I did, damn it, I keep forgetting about these things. Even if I did, um, that wouldn't exactly be a good thing for me because um, I'm actually on benefits and I can't be making too much money or I will lose my source of income as well as my ability to pay rent, basically. Ah, yes, I need to open this. <clears throat> Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor, and in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Yep, I already took care of those guys. <clears throat> because I'm doing this whole level basically ass backwards. And yes, I am indeed cursing. Um, I don't normally curse much in real life, but I also kind of don't want the, these videos to uh, have the um, to be flagged for like, well, not flagged, but you know, to uh, for YouTube to make it to where it's that whole COPPA thing happen and. Uh, say that it's meant for children, which my videos are not supposed to be meant for children. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. <clears throat> but I am a bit afraid that gameplay like this would be end up being. Uh, flag for that sort of thing. Okay, we're back at the start. Alright, so there is the chest over there. Can I glide to that from here? Is that what I'm meant to be doing? I'm going to... No, I don't think I can. I have to get to the chest first, actually. Okay. 
<clears throat> but, you know, I mean, I understand why the kappa is a thing, because it's... It's a thing that's already been implemented, however, not... Um... Ah, uh, what's the word? Not... I... I completely forgot what the word is. I, I use that word sometimes, too. Anyway, it hasn't been, um... Implemented in such a way to where it's enforced. That was the what I was thinking. Enforced. It's been implemented, but not... Im How did... I am not paying nearly as much attention as I should be. And I'm sorry about that. Woo. Anyway, you've probably heard enough YouTubers talk about Kappa anyways. It's part of the law, we kind of have to live with it. And that's going to be true for all platforms, not just for YouTube. Anyway, these caves, I am told, are some people's favorite uh, level of this area, anyway. It kind of sucks that you have to glide from the chest to get to, you know, the, the chest. I mean, it is a lovely place. Ah, yes. And what could it be used for? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> There's not really a lot of, uh, of evidence as to what it could be used for. Wait, where was it again? I am all turned around, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, nope, not through there. Back that way. Woo! Alright, it. Yeah, I think it's back this way. I have not been paying nearly as much attention to on this one. I am sorry about that. We are not here to talk about about YouTube's politics. We're here to talk about Spyro. And I suppose my life <laughs> um, regarding it, and I guess since it's relevant, my uh, my system. So yes, I did. I did look up. Ah, yes, there we are. I did look up uh, a long time ago what were all the best um, things to get for re recording YouTube videos what type of mic to get, what type of, um, of camera, that, those sorts of things. And I ended up getting like a Logitech webcam, which is on a, I guess you could call it a boom. It's, it's on a little, uh, little arm thing on, on my computer, well, on my desk, sorry. Same thing with the mic. The mic is, um, is, a. Uh, I forget exactly what it's called. I think it's just... Snowball Ice. Yep, that's all it was. It was that simple. Snowball Ice. And then, um, my gaming computer is the most expensive thing I've ever, I've ever bought. And the most expensive thing I own. I think this is the whole world. I think that's all the worlds here, actually. Now it's time to go to the next one. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Two Magic Crafters. Crafters. Look at him, so cute in his little balloon. I wonder what's in those sacks. Probably weights. That makes sense, considering it's an air balloon. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
sorry. I do that a lot when my voice starts getting a bit hoarse. So here we are in Magic Crafters, and as you know, I will be... Um, I will see you in, in another video if... I need to work on my outro. I am sorry about that. 